In this video, I will guide you through my process of creating three different brushes in Procreate. We will start by opening a new document and we'll make it square. We can now make a new brush by selecting the brushes panel and clicking the plus sign in the upper right corner of that panel. Use the swap from Pro Library for a lot of basic brushes and textures. For now, we will make a basic brush that is pressure sensitive and select a normal round one. I select hard. We will now select a texture for that brush. And I will first select a grungy texture so you can see what that does to the brush. As you can tell, the brush strokes now has a bit of grit added to it. I don't want that for this exercise, so I will just go ahead and select a basic background for this brush. And you can find it all the way down, right there, blank. So now we have a basic brush, as you can see. It's not pressure sensitive yet. I can make it pressure sensitive by going to these settings. Go to the Apple Pencil Pressure and then Size. As you apply pressure, the size will go up or down, whatever you pick. I will pick Size will go up when applying pressure. So if I apply pressure on the down strokes, you can see the line will get thicker. A little bit too thick if you ask me. We will adjust the sizing later, but I'll first do something about these wonky lines that I usually get from having too much caffeine. <laughs> Go to the first step and select Streamline. Select it all the way up to make it very smooth. You see, no more wonky lines. I will delete this Picasso and do something about the sizing issue we have. If you go to the size limits, you can set the maximum a bit lower and you can see the preview of how it will turn out. So I like this a lot better. There are a lot more settings you can play with, so um, play around, uh, use some different brushes, some different textures on the background and uh, have fun. Now let's make a stamp brush, which is really fun for uh, backgrounds or bulky. Um, we can make our own actually, let's draw one by using a charcoal brush. Go all the way down to charcoal and just draw whatever you like. I will draw a heart. It will not be perfect. I like it to look like it's a hand-drawn heart that will stamp nicely. You can actually draw whatever you feel like, a leaf or an eye, and um, it doesn't really matter. Just make it grayscale so um, the results will be nice in Procreate. I'm finishing up this heart so we can save it um i'm sorry part of this video got out of view um, i'm expanding the heart to be a little bigger and then you go to the tool menu and hit the share button and then you can save it as a jpeg i will save it to dropbox you can save it anywhere you will find it later so you can make a brush out of it so here I'm saving it to Dropbox first. Now let's delete this heart and make a brush out of it. So go back to um, your brushes, select the plus sign and we will not use the pro library this time but we will click on the black square and pick our own image. I will go to my Dropbox folder where I saved the heart and click the heart. It will download and upload in that box. Now we want to select the grain. I will not need a grain because we already made a grainy heart. So we will navigate to the blank square again
Now we just have a black square with a white heart in it. We will change the spacing. You can see black square, white heart. We want a black heart, not the white heart. So you invert the shape in the shape source file. And there we are, little hearts. Now let's play around with the settings a little bit by going to general, adjust the sizing, especially the maximum size. I want bigger hearts and the minimum size a little smaller. And then we can go to stroke and change the spacing. Oh, it was fine spaced. Maybe make it a little smaller so you can see it in the preview. And yeah, the spacing is fine like this. We don't need a smooth stroke. We can change the jitter so it will not be placed on a straight line. Now I'm going into the shape tab and change the scatter a little bit so the hearts rotate um, across the stroke. Just play around with the settings really. So all the settings can be adjusted to your liking. Um, for now, I will keep it with the stroke and the shape settings. The grain isn't necessary because we have a, a basic grain. We picked blank. We can now pick a color. I think this is one of the default palettes, but they are very nice and bright colors that go well together. So we'll just um, throw around some hearts. And it's nice to layer them, pick another color, make them a little bigger or smaller. Whatever you like. A few colors on top of each other. Doesn't really matter, it's a stamp brush and um, uh, you can make fun backgrounds with this. I can see this being a background for a Valentine's card or something. Maybe you can put some lettering on top. Add another little happy heart. Okay, let's go to the next brush. We will pick a black background for a glitter brush. I've actually made a glitter pattern and it will work best on a white, or excuse me, black background. Um, for the shape source, I will pick a normal round brush we will change that later, but I'll show you the effect with a round brush first. Just a hard brush. And then after that, um, no, let's pick the hard brush. <laughs> and then after that, I will select my glitter file. It's just a basic black and white glitter file. And we will have the basic brush stroke. As you can see here, although it's really, really fine and really dense. So we will change that around a little um, by going to the stroke tab and adjust the spacing so it gets a little bit less dense and I want it to be less fine as well um, and we can go to the grain panel and adjust the scale so it gets a little bigger you can see it already has a glittery feel what I'm missing though is the softness on the edges because um, as you can see it's really just a tube of the glitter pattern we used. So now I want a brush shape that is more dense on the inside and less dense on the outside. Um, the black parts are more dense so if you look at this there's a really nice black center and it's uh, less dense on the outside. Let's see how that will work. Ah, that looks a lot more like glitter, doesn't it? What I don't like about it is it looks very generic, so I want to change up the shape a little bit. Um, you can play around with the settings until you like what you see. Here, I'll put the streamline up. And then I will change the scatter settings again. You can see in a little preview that, see? It gets a little bit more messy, like glitter. Glitter is really messy unless it's digital. So 
Uh, we're in a good place making this brush. Your desk will thank you. If you're anything like me, if you work with glitter in real life, everything is glitter. So play around with the settings until you like your new glitter brush. And I will um, attach the link to download this glitter brush um, to the video. So you can also download this one and use this one if you don't have a glitter file on hand. So I added the pressure sensitivity, adjusted the size like we did with the first brush. And now we can um, actually letter with it. See, letter with glitter without the mess. So let's write something. I'm trying to be really original here. I don't think I can say the word glitter anymore after doing this video. <laughs> glitter. Now we can highlight some of the uh, edges because glitter usually highlights. So I, I hate saying that word again. <laughs> Now, if you add another layer on top and put in some color, I'll show you a nice trick. Just select a different brush on the new layer, an airbrush. Add some of the colors. We will bring some color into this lettering. I'm not saying that word, did you notice? So, some bright colors. Now, if you go back to the layers and you can hit that little N right there here you can change the blending mode of that color layer play around with this as well there's many to pick from um, these will work fine color burn will work multiply works but it loses the brightness of the glitter I think soft light works really well it gives a really bright light I don't think the camera captured it very well but um, uh, for this work I think um, the proved to be the best. So you can still change the colors in that layer if you want. Just, yeah, you see, overlay, hard light didn't work. Their color just changes the color of the overall image. It doesn't really add to the highlights much. So just play around with different colors in that color layer or um, right in the first layer and add something to it. I hope you enjoyed this little lesson on how to make your own brushes, um, especially if you're new to making your own brushes. You can download the glitter brush um, in the link below this video. And I would like uh, to see you on social media. Um, you can find me on at Manon underscore Lef. Find me on Patreon, well, wherever. I love to chat with you and I, um, I would love to gain your feedback. Thank you.